Hi, welcome back to our next training session. I am Hitendra Kumar Shaha, CDMP Compliance Consultant, Trainer and Auditor from NADA Plus GXP Compliance Services. And today we are here to discuss about the 10 quality KPI. Now you will say that KPI is normally the terminology used by the management of the HR prospective. So my dear friend, let me clear that this is the guideline expectations that the you know ICH Q10. You may be aware about the guideline ICH Q10 quality management system. As per this guideline, it is expected that the there should be the quality KPIs. So what type of quality KPI should be built into the organization? This is what we are going to discuss today. So <clears throat> there are some uh, KPI adjusted total 10 KPIs and we will discuss this 10 KPI one by one. The first is a defect rate. Even these are some KPIs what you know are collected from the quality metrics given by the USFDA. So some KPIs are directly or indirectly linked to the quality metrics uh, shared by the USFDA. Okay. So please focus with me about the complete discussion on this topic. So first is the defect rate. What does it mean? It means percentage of defective unit in total production. So that means number of defects divided by total unit tested into 100 that you will get the defect rate simple things are there but this type of kpis can be taken i i have seen the companies where there are hundreds of kpis are put hundreds of kpis these are not required you need to focus about some quality prospectives and then based on that you should design the kpi so this is what i am sharing with you so first is the defect rate second is cost of the poor quality what does it mean? Total cost associated with producing defective product or services. So some of all quality related costs are considered as the cost of poor quality. Hope the, you are getting the points. Very simple language and very easy to understand. Third is first pass yield. Hope you remember that the basic GMP requirement is what? First time right. Remember? So, what is the first pass yield? So, percentage of unit produced correctly on the first attempt. So, how many units are manufactured and they are correct? So, units produced correctly on first attempt divided by total unit produced into 100. So, this defect rate and first part is are somewhat interlinked, right? The fourth is defects per million. Defects per million. Now, here you can consider this for the injections, or you can see this. You can consider this for tablets. You can get automatic these values based on the PLC or scanner. Okay, so defects per million. So defective parts among all total manufactured parts in every million. So here you can see per million is a defect and here is the defect rate. Please understand the difference between the defect rate and defects per million. Okay, why this is important because based on the batch size it is important. Right? If my batch size is high, then defect rate will be low. But defect per million will give the clear picture. Right? The next is scrap rate. So what is the wastage is going from the process? How much quantity of wastage? So the percentage of materials discarded during production is evaluated as a part of the scrap rate or you can say the number 5 of the KPI. So how you can calculate quantity of scrap materials divided by total quantity of materials used into 100. 
this all information you can get it from either the BMR or back record or PLC or SCADA or uh, you know all the whatever the equipments equipment PLC or equipment HMI these are will be recorded in that only you have to collect the data and you have to calculate that how much wastage is there how much scrap is there how much first pass is it is there right six is customer complaint rate so i was telling you that uh, the kpis are even the part of icf q10 remember pharmaceutical quality system as well as i have considered these kpis which are in line with the uh, uh, metrics given by the fda so this is one of the FDA matrix, you can refer the guideline. Whenever I am using the word FDA, it is a US FDA. So, what is percentage of customer filing complex? So, customer complex divided by total units sold into 100. So, this is again the customer complaints, which is in line with the our uh, FDA matrix. The seventh is rework rate. Now most of the companies rework is not allowed, but then you can consider here as a reprocess rate. As per your convenience, you can consider this as a reprocess rate. No problem. So how many reprocess you are doing? So number of units repro re reprocess or rework divided by total units is a reprocess or rework rate. Eight is a supplier quality rating. Measure of supplier performance in delivering the quality materials. So, what are the acceptable deliveries and what are the deliveries total into 100 that is the supplier quality rating. Now, this supplier quality rating you can use for your supplier evaluation or the team who is responsible for supplier evaluation they can give the more weightage on this. Right. The next is net promoter score. This is somewhat you know the, some companies suggested, so I put here measure of customer loyalty and likelihood to recommend. So when you want some API manufacturer or the device manufacturer or the material manufacturer or the service provider, so how loyal you are and how many times or what are the possibility that your customers are recommending you. So this is based on the net promoter score. This is uh, preferably for the supply chains or marketing. So you can consider this. Uh, if you are in a manufacturing, then you can uh, you you need not consider this. But yes, if you are in a whole the senior level, then of course this also you it will be at your KPI, right? Because KPI are not only for the employee who are working in the organization but KPI is for the management also right so that is the reason these all 10 KPIs are considered based on the management responsibility of course in line with the ICH Q10 requirement right and the 10 is on time delivery rate so percentage of order delivered on time so this is what the calculation on time delivery divided by total delivery into 100. So this is a simple thing, simple 10 KPIs are there based on the, you can say the uh, ICH Q10 quality metrics and even the expectations by many agencies. So I thought that what are the 10 KPIs that can be discussed with you. So I am here to discuss uh, about the 10 topics. Hope you understand the 10 KPIs. If you have any questions, then please raise the questions. Definitely I will respond to your all queries. There are some other KPIs also that, uh, you know, uh, some other KPI includes invalid OS. You can put here, you can consider here invalid OS also. You can consider the reject rate, rejection rate. So this type of KPI you can generate, but my point is KPI should not be, you know, 50 or 100. 
limited KPI so that and the KPI should be the smart okay the objective of the KPI should be the smart objective so that it will be the measurable KPI should be measurable so you can see here everything is measurable based on the value or the data right so always remember KPI should be measurable right for KPI you may be aware about the concept smart and where the M is measurable so this is what from my side right if you have any questions please put your questions in the chat box I will respond to your all questions and please subscribe this YouTube channel because you will get a good learnings uh, from different topics and uh, also you can share this link to the, your colleagues so that they also can benefit uh, in your uh, in their future career right so this is what from my side thank you thank you so much and ensure all time compliance thank you so much